three power armor skins in snowy white. Really? Yeah, that's still 35 bucks for the legacy bundle. What the heck is What the heck is... Oh, there's something wrong here. Let's, let's deal with that another time. That might explain why I couldn't log into Fallout 76. Oh, it's raining. Why it, it, you know, it was asking me for my username and login was all lost and I, I don't know what the heck it is, so it's... We're going to have to see what's going on there. But at any rate, this is your Black Knight. And as you're watching this, if all goes according to plan, you will be watching this video on October 23rd, 2019. Now, maybe it'll be a little bit after that, but I mean, that's when I'm planning on launching it. I'm planning on putting this video up exactly 58 years before the... The story here started before the nuclear war that caused this whole thing. Before the day that this video game started. You know, in the historical context of the fiction. Now, I'm not hoping for a nuclear war on the actual October 23rd, 2077. I actually kind of hope to still be around for that, although I'd be 106. And so, I'm not going to be particularly active if there is a, uh, a nuclear conflagration. Let's, let's gather rain here for a minute. Or do we need to? We need to just look around. But this is the kickoff. As you can see, I have Hancock as a uh, companion in this video. If you want to see how that happened, well, that's going to be happening pretty much every Friday for a few weeks here. I'm not sure how many weeks. I'm planning on doing a, uh, a whole bunch of Fallout videos, a mix of Fallout 4 and 76. 76, by this point, we may even be closing on the Wastelanders, uh, the Wastelanders update. The Wastelanders DLC, which... will bring NPCs back to the game and make it actually feel like a Fallout game, if all goes well. It's very much a if all goes well there. I mean, that's... There's not many more to put in here, but there's a couple. So that's what the hope is. The hope is that that really, you know, makes 76 take off. You know, I'd like to play some 76, but only in a theoretical sense. Like, I'm really having a tough time if, I, if I'm going to play Fallout, not playing Fallout 4 instead. So, I mean, you know, it's a thing. It's it's a thing, you know? It's like, what do, you know, if, you, if Fallout 4 is fun, I'm overpowered as heck. So it gives you that, that positive feedback where you're, you know, you're shooting stuff, you're blowing things what away. It's a good feeling. Fallout 76... You're getting your lunch handed to you, hitting everything with a baseball bat because your guns are useless. I was looking for somewhere for the last of the star. There's one of the last Star Wars is out in out in the the battle zone proper here, according to the computer. So there's going to be. I know I've got a whole bunch of Fallout 4 stuff together. I'm planning on putting a bunch. A Fallout 76 Only together. That smells not you. Because otherwise, we need to see a doctor. That's funny. You walk up to the garbage and he has a garbage comment. That's. Can we get that? No. <laughs> well, someone sure wanted to keep out trespassers. <laughs> As he stands on the fire. Well, that's. The foot locker to unlock. I'm still trying Sweet. to think how I want to... Ooh, Army 15, that's kind of useful. They can be made bulletproof. I bet you we could get some likes if we craft 
Oh, we can't craft anything. We don't have any stuff on us. That's right. We can do that back at the ranch. All the stuff's in our, our inventory. So I don't know. Should I alternate? Uh, you know, Fallout 4 and 76 stuff just to keep it interesting. I'm planning on doing it on Fridays. We're going to call it Fallout Fridays. This video could be called The Return of Fallout Fridays, even though it will be coming up on a Wednesday. Kind of an announcement video. We're just wandering around looking. I have mostly stripped this whole place. I mean, I've gone through the battle zone pretty hard, but there's one star core out here. There's two more randomly outside of this area, and it doesn't tell you exactly where, so that could take a while. But I'm really trying to find what we niche. What the heck? Why are we getting points? That would make sense if I had, like, a supply line coming here or something like that. But I don't think so. That's not happening yet. I haven't finished the game and set that up. I'm starting to think these might come back. I think I've cleared that before, but I'll take as many so as I can get. There's shooting going on somewhere. So that's at least the plan. The plan is to bring back some falloutness. I'm sure I've cleared these out. We're gonna we're gonna bring bring sexy back to Fallout as it were here, and we're going to try and do some things. As the weeks unfold, again, I don't know. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get six weeks, seven weeks, ten weeks. I don't know. It depends. I haven't counted up the videos. There's a lot of them. They're pretty extensive, and of course, I intend to keep making them. I'm right up until and then after the launch, especially if Wastelanders takes off. If Wastelanders makes Fallout 76 the game I wished it was. We can activate the ride? Really? Is there a starport here someplace? Oh, nuclear, okay, so this is this will work after the main power. So the rides will work once we can get the uh, the main power to work, which I'm not sure what that will get you, because it's not like you can really sit on them. I guess you can have it drag you around. Probably kill you. So that is that is the, the the distinct hope. The distinct hope is that when Fallout 76 updates to Wastelanders, that you know it will become the you know the fall not only the Fallout that we deserve, but the Fallout that we need. You know that kind of thing. It's yeah, he's he's there, but he's just leaning back, got the lean going, kicking back like there's something there, like robots would sit. Ooh, Hancock admires you. Well, that's a that's a momentous thing. Hey, shoot! I talk. Hancock. So, seems you know how to hold your own. I'd had my doubts when we first hit the road. Should we do the sarcastic or the? <laughs> Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. I never get many complaints. It's just real rare these days. Find someone who's not willing to take things the way they're handed to them. Too many good folks not willing to get their hands dirty. And too many assholes taking advantage of it. Look at what happened to Diamond City. Before McDonough took over, it was a half-decent place to live. A little stricter than I usually go for, but not terrible. 
I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood. But then he decides he's gonna try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade. Mankind for McDonough. Before you know it, you got families with kids lining up to drag folks they call neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. You and McDonough knew each other as kids? Oh yeah. Guy's my brother. Grew up together in a little shack on the waterfront. Guy was the standard big brother. Entitled, punchy, liked to shove rotten potatoes down my shirt and slap my back. But I never thought he'd be capable of something like what they did to those ghouls. How could they do something like that? There'd always been a pretty big gulf between the folks living in the stands and folks down on the field. McDonough ran on it because he thought enough of those upper stands assholes would vote for him. Guess he was right. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there, staring out the window, watching as the city turned on the ghouls. He didn't even look at me. He just said, I did it, John. It's finally mine. Should have killed him right there, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to call it off. He said he couldn't. He had nothing against the ghouls. He was just carrying out the will of the people. And he couldn't betray the voters. And then he smiled. That hideous fucking mile-long smile. Never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. What do you mean you didn't recognize him? I don't know. Just didn't seem like the guy I grew up with. Guess that all makes sense now, knowing that he was with the Institute. But honestly, I think I'm more angry now. I mean, where do I draw the line? Was the guy I grew up with the amoral piece of trash who gave the ghouls the boot? Or was that just some synth making a play for the city? Have I been hating the guy all these years for nothing? Almost makes me wish I didn't know. At the time, though, I just couldn't wait to get away from him and his whole damn constituency. He murdered those ghouls. Him and that whole damn city. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave. But I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent cams, so I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there. But most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks, but after a while, they just disappeared. Folks in Diamond City signed their death warrants, and all the good people were willing to just sit by and watch. I felt like I was the only one who saw how screwed up things truly were. Who couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Or, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is, and is willing to do something about it, it's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm just not... I can't flirt with the ghoul. It's just... I... No. Sorry. Yeah, we, we, we're good friends here. Not much competition. That's funny. Should we go the funny route? No, nah, I don't want to screw it up. I feel exactly the same, Hancock. It's been a hell of a ride thus far. Then here's to a long road. With plenty of ammo. Well, thanks for hearing me out. You probably weren't looking for a history lesson, were you? You want to hit the road? I could have gone the funny route, but it seemed like that would have been. Hey, I got us into the sunshine. Obviously, this is a little bit ahead of the game here. We're a little bit out of, of sequence. If you want to see how all this came about, then you have to you have to come back for the next few Fridays. Next several Fridays. Hopefully many, 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 perhaps years of Fridays. I don't know. It's going to depend on how many videos I can, can put together without, you know, going full clickbait, you know, 
kind of no content sort of making money. I want I want videos that will be good. That's that's you know. And of course, sometimes I'm just sharing my experiences. And if you find that interesting, that's that's a thing. And if you know not well, then hopefully I'll have some other videos that you find interesting. But we'll we'll see how it goes. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. And a little bonus material. Technical document here. I need a lot of technical documents. I haven't cashed them in yet. It's just somehow fun having the technical documents. No star ports. Interesting. I've never been up here. Bullets, fusion cells, pistol, trader. Interesting. Dog tags. And a military history. I'm trying to look in there and I'm just knocking stuff over. Can't get. Can I sneak? No. Can't get in there. Weird. Thinking about this over years. For a moment, I thought maybe, but now it just have to be this ride. Which we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Little clippinger. What is that? The park pamphlet, but just tell me where the darn star cores are. And serve Teddy Bear. When you're going to have so much fun that day. And yet no, it doesn't work out that way because the world ends. Still don't know what those tickets are for, but we're gonna figure that out. That's the plan. There was a ladle here. That was a nice touch. I like that. Yes, of course, I took it to be scrapped. So this is what they thought the future would look like, huh? <laughs> Say they missed the mark. Which is a very ironic... I'm at the point where I wonder if this is something where you need a rocket pack to get to it or something. So I've been everywhere. Obviously not because, I mean, you know, I'm missing a star core from this place. But, I mean, heavens to Murgatroyd, it should be here someplace. It's on the ground. It's not in any of the areas. Smartest thing a lot of us have done in our lives. We'll take care of the territory, boss. After all, we put it in good hands. I was hoping that was going to be sharp armor, but apparently it's just operator's armor, so... That's a good... Must be downstairs. Reminds me of an old George Carlin joke where he said... There's a suspected leak at the local nuclear power plant. All the people are dead and the trees are humming. Uh, 
didn't hurt him. You might be able to get up here with that rocket, but I don't know. You do get a good view, though. I hadn't realized their, uh, their scrambler was actually a Mr. Handy thing. I guess you can't get up here because Hancock, I think, has just injured himself trying to find a way. So does that mean there's hope for a starport? Maybe not. There's not all that much up here, really. It's a cool view. The view is incredible. Okay, what do we do here? Do we want to go up? And try not to slide off to the side. She's trying out as a key here. I'm not seeing any, seeing any star cores. Couldn't think of a reason one would be up here anyway. Oh well. Maybe next time. 